everybody, before we get into today's video, I want to give a shout out to Ace Doggy and Abby. They are subscribed, they have post notifications turned on, and they like my videos. So if you want to be subscribed, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And turn post notifications on and leave a nice comment. And you can get a shout out in my future video. <laughs> I'm not in my little setup here is because I am at, actually at my mom's school right now because she has to work and you know I had to go with her. So today, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. So today I am going to be giving you guys a hundred and one ideas that will blow your channel up, which I'm really excited for, and I'm also gonna incorporate some tips into those a hundred plus ideas because. Just, just take it as an idea, okay? So the first thing, I have a little paper right here, okay? So the first thing is that you wanna create content that offers value to the consumers. So what that means is you wanna create good content. Like, you don't want it to be like, you don't want it to be like watching me sit there for 24 hours doing nothing. Like, you don't wanna do that. You wanna do something like exciting and fun that people wanna see but they can't do. So you want to like, let's say, stay in a jumping house for 24 hours. Like not a lot of people do that. So that's what you want to do. You want to do stuff that makes other people watch your channel, okay? And so another, I, and then the second thing is experiment with different types of, different types, different branches of content, okay? So you don't have to limit yourself. Like I don't limit myself for this being a lifestyle channel. I want it to be, but that's not how you're gonna grow subscribers in the long run. You need to exp you need to like expand like your content, like with cooking, with ideas, like with educational, with dares, with art, like all sorts of stuff, because that's what people want to see. Because there's different types of people in this world, and you want those people to come watch you, and they're not all gonna like the same thing. And there's not a lot of people that like the same thing. Like, if I ask, like, 20 people, they're going to probably, most of them are not going to be the same, okay? If I ask them, which type of content do you like? Half of them might say life. Like, 20% of them might say lifestyle. And then, like, like 30% might say, like, art or something. Like, people like different things. So try and, try and create different content to get more people. Then you want to post more at least two times a week two times a week or more because I used to post I used to post one time a week at the very very beginning like at my fir first video ever so and I realized that people are addicted to YouTube and social media and stuff like that so you want to like you want to produce more content because people are so addicted the more addicted they get the more content you need to produce so the less bored they get so the more they like you see it's like it's like a chain reaction <laughs> okay so yeah I post two times a week I would like to post more but I try and make long good exciting videos and that just takes a lot of time because I'm actually very busy so yeah two times a week I that's really hard for me to do so yeah just smash that subscribe button hit that like button you know to, to keep me going okay so Number four is make popular content at the right time, okay? This is this is all about timing, okay? So let's say you know when 24 hour challenges were popular? If I post if I posted a 24 hour challenge when they first got popular, it would get more views than if I posted a 24 hour challenge now. So like because more people were into that and the trend kind of died. So so this is the one that I put I'm sorry, I talk with my hands a lot. So, if I post a video, it's gonna be up here at the right time. But if I post a video at the wrong time, the views are gonna be right here. So, that's how it is, okay? I'm sorry I talk with my hands so much, if that's confusing you. Yeah. So, it's all about timing. Make sure you produce popular, good content at the right time, okay? And then, number five, you wanna have strong camera presence camera presence okay so like you don't you don't want to you don't want to talk like this like hey guys what's up you want you want to be loud you want to be confident because people like confidence and the more you use your camera and the more you you 
the more you show content and the more you're the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it, okay? It's not one of those things that you wake up and then you just have amazing camera presence, okay? Because people don't want to, people don't want to listen to people that sound like this, okay? Like, they don't. And I'm not saying it's not okay to be quiet, but people, I'm going to be honest, people don't like that. People like pe people, half the time they're kind of sad because, you know, as people, we can be sad sometimes. They want to. The real thing behind it is they want to feel happy when they watch a video. Like, they want to be like, oh my gosh, this made my day better. And people talking like this just gives off the wrong vibe, okay? So you need to be happy. You need to be you need to be having good vibes. You need to be spreading good vibes, okay? And then the number six is thumbnails are extremely important, okay? So a thumbnail is probably the most important thing in your video to me because... I'm not seeing any other part of your video when I'm scrolling, okay? When I'm scrolling, when I search up your name and I'm scrolling, all I'm seeing is the cover of your video. And I'm like, oh, that cover looks cool, so I'm going to push I'm gonna push on your video. And then you get a view, okay? So you want to make, and like you can experience with different thumbnail aesthetics and stuff like that because that would actually be really good because like I said before, there's different types of people, like different types of stuff. And you all want them to like you and subscribe to you. So, yeah. That's that's how it is. And then the next, number seven is looking presentable. Now, most of my videos, I would like to say I forget to brush my hair before I do them. And I don't put makeup on. You know, I just do this kind of as a side thing because I love doing it and it's so much fun. And so, looking presentable, I actually need to work on this, but... People don't want to see somebody that looks like they are depressed, okay? Like I said, people want to feel happy, so you want to like wear bright colors. Or you could switch it up. You, you just don't wear a hoodie and act like you're depressed eating a bowl of ice cream in your ear costume, okay? So, well, like I've done before, okay? So, the next thing is, I'm moving on to video ideas. That was like the tips, the tricks on how to grow on YouTube. That should get you hundreds of 100 subscribers in about two months if you follow all those things to a T and you work on them really well okay so don't get mad at me if you come back two months later I have 98 subscribers it's not a hundred well you know you probably didn't do something right <laughs> okay or I mean it's hard to put a time limit on people because people are different so it's hard to put a time people but um, it's hard to put a time limit on people because they're always going to change so now working into video ideas number one is workout video people like to see you get fit people like to see what they want okay so if i want to have abs i'm going to look at a video on how to get abs i'm going to be like oh she has abs she's been doing this workout i can get abs because she can do it okay so and then number two is a crumble cookie review so crumble cookies have been really popular but i think they kind of died down a little bit i made this list pretty long time ago so a crumble cookie review would still kind of do good okay so and then number three a cook with me I actually watch this girl her name's T's Bakery she's actually really cool she loves cooking I get most of my cooking ideas from her go subscribe to her YouTube channel because like I said branch out with your content because there's different people so I have not done a cooking video yet because personally I'm not that good at cooking but I'll be doing it in the future okay and number four, reviewing popular brands. This is a big thing because if you like, you could review like, you could review TJ Maxx clothes. You could review, this is more if you have a lot of money, okay? So like you could review Gucci or you could review Louis Vuitton. You could review Chanel. Like you could review Dior. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but all of these very popular brands that people would like to see because people are like oh if she and that if she says she likes it and she's a big influencer then I might like it so that's what they're thinking and then another thing is people people are gonna like follow because there's not a lot of leaders there's a lot of followers so if you be a leader people are gonna follow you see where we're going okay so and then she, Number five is changing my aesthetic for a day, trying something different. 
My aesthetic is usually soft, like the white tennis skirts, the light pink, and I might be going to something completely different in the future when I try this video, okay? And I don't think I'm gonna like it, but you know, that's my opinion now. And then we could do rating celebrities outfits. This is more of a reaction type of video. Yeah, I love watching reactions. They're just so funny sometimes. So yeah, that would definitely be good because they're pretty popular right now. Number six, thrift with me, you know, see what you can find at a thrift store. You could also like transform, like then a part two to thrift with me, you could like transform that old thing into something two times better, like thrift store transformations or something like that. So that's kind of like a two in one. So number eight, ratings. I just said that. Okay, number eight, plant, shop like plants with me, like, you know, these little, my little plants, you know. I'm not really big in plants, but I was just, I just think this is really good because of different people, you know. Plant shop with me, so like, shop like, go like and get some aloe vera, like from the Walmart or something like that, because people like to see that sometimes. Oh, and then you could order crazy plants all on, offline. Oh my gosh, this, I, okay, this is actually a video that I actually like to watch, because I, I don't believe that there's actually real there's actually really crazy plants out there that there's plants that look like things like animals and humans and stuff like it's just so weird okay and then number 10 you could try trying tiktok life hacks okay i've done i think two of these videos i don't know make sure you go check them out but yeah these always make sure they all, these always get good views you could always try those bottle honey jelly like where you take like sugar or something and you freeze it put some food coloring in you take it squeeze it in a little bottle and bite it you know you know what that is okay anyway so number two oh yeah number 11 paint with me okay so for my artists out there i would love to do one of these videos i just need a canvas and some paint okay so paint with me is really good you know number 12 I tried to paint a self-portrait, but it went wrong. People love these videos that say gone wrong because they want to know what gone wrong. So they're going to click on it. So, and 13, my art through the years. Okay, so people want to see a progress. So just say like when I was 2 to when I was 11 or however old you are now. 14, I how I edit my videos. Okay, so if people like your videos they're gonna, and if they're trying to create their own, they're gonna want to see what you edit because what you edit is obviously working for you. So they want to try the same thing to see if it'll work for them. Fifteen, how I make a thumbnail. Like I said, thumbnails are really important. So I think this video would really blow up if you're if you're like trying to make content for the fellow YouTubers out there because they're gonna want to know this if they want to blow up their channel. Okay, fifth. Okay, 16, ideas for a business. Okay, for like a small business, I could give you guys ideas because fun fact, someone in my, people in my family actually have businesses, okay? So I actually get a lot of ideas from them because they want, they want me to start my own while I'm like, okay, um, I don't have enough time. <laughs> so number seven, rating Pinterest makeup looks or in general, rating Pinterest anything. Rating Pinterest. Foods, rating Pinterest, art supplies, rating Pinterest, hairstyles, literally anything. You could do also like rating Instagram. You could rate like all these different social media apps. You could rate their hairstyles that they give off and stuff. So, okay, and then you could, number 18, trying life hacks from 5-Minute Crafts. If you don't know what 5-Minute Crafts is, it's a... Um, it's just search up five minute crafts. I can't even say it. <laughs> okay, so 19, being productive for 24 hours. Like I said, 24 hour challenge might not get that much views now, but it's still really fun to make. And I think it'd do, I think it'd get probably like, if you're a new YouTuber, probably get like about like 400 something views. If you're a new YouTuber, that is probably like 20 subscribers, okay? So, then number 20, I'm just gonna start saying the numbers because they're confusing me, okay? The next thing that you can do is you could you could do cleaning out my car. That's good. You could do organizing my car because people like to see transformations, okay? 
I'm just gonna speed through all these, okay? Okay, next idea is organizing my room. Next is changing my aesthetic of my room. Next is cleaning up my closet. Next is cleaning up from underneath my bed. Whew, I need to do that. Next is buying a bookshelf. Okay, I just watched the video on YouTube ideas and that was one of them. Buying a bookshelf and customizing a bookshelf. Okay. Customizing things like in general like bracelets, jewelry, okay, all that. Rating jewelry. How to save the planet. That's pretty good, okay. How to how to do homework faster. That I, I think that'd be a pretty good video. I need to do that. Okay, next is showing you all my paintings. This isn't this is very similar to the paintings throughout the years, but you're not showing the progress. You're just showing your paintings. You're not showing the progress. Okay. Next is staying in a hotel room for 24 hours. Do okay, next is staying in a five dollar hotel versus staying in a five thousand dollar hotel. You could do the same with like a twenty with like a two hundred dollar hotel, then a twenty thousand hotel, you could do the difference, and you could let the people see the difference. Okay, next is do a video on video ideas, which I am doing right now. Okay, once again, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Okay. Okay. Next video is microwaving different objects. Prepare to buy a new microwave if you do that video, and prepare to have life insurance. Anyway. Okay, next thing. You could do a you could do a cooking video, cook with me, but like not like cook with your best friend. So like stuff like that. And then you could do you could do counting to a million like Mr. Beast did. Like I said, people want to see what they can't do because it makes them feel like they're doing it. Okay. Next you could do buying every coffee buying from every coffee shop in my town, rating the coffee, you know, all that. Then you could do how to how to make A's in school. <laughs> I need that video. Anyway, how to stay productive on YouTube. You could do staying in a trampoline park for 24 hours, staying in your room for 24 hours, staying outside for 24 hours. That'd be rough. Okay. Next is okay, next is rating my rating my notes I wrote as a child. Okay. So if you ever wrote like books as a child, because I used to write a lot of books, I would like redo those I would like review those books and show y'all. It doesn't necessarily have to be notes, okay? And so next idea is next idea is how to use a I literally just forgot how to use a spray spray paint container because a lot of people don't know how to use them. That might just be me, but you know. How to do your makeup if you want to go to a certain type of football game, you could always do that. You could do my makeup routine, my morning routine, my night routine, my skincare routine. You could buy and could buy stuff from Five Below, Five Below Hall, Target Hall, TJ Maxx Hall, Hobby Lobby Hall, Walmart Hall, literally anything, okay? And that is all the ideas I have for you guys today. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And yeah, hope these ideas help you to grow your channel, boost, boost your channel, okay? So yeah, see you guys this Friday. Bye guys. Bye.